हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू करंट अफेयर सीरीज ऑफ सी एस एस वर्ल्ड लेट्स मूव टू वर्ल्ड टूडेज टॉप स्टोरीज द फर्स्ट स्टोरी वी हैव टूडे इज दैट नरेंद्र मोदीज लेड इंडियन गवर्नमेंट हैज़ प्रोटेस्टेड अगेंस्ट कैनेडा फॉर अलाउंग द सिख कम्यूनिटी टू वोट ऑन खालिस्तान रेफरेंडम वॉइसिंग सीरियस कंसर्नस अवर वट इट कॉल्ड एंटी इंडियन स्टेट एक्टिविटीज नरेंद्र मोदीज गवर्नमेंट हैज प्रोटेस्टेड विद कैनेडा फॉर अलाउंग सिक्स फॉर जस्टिस to organize a Khalistan referendum in the Canadian city of Brampton on September 18 which drew tens of thousands of local Sikhs we have covered last week that relations between India and Canada were on the edge after the letter made it clear to the former that Canadian Sikhs would not be barred from any peaceful and legitimate political activities India's external affairs ministry termed the Khalistan referendum conducted by the SFJ as a partial exercise and added that it had conveyed concerns to Canada about the use of its territory by politically motivated extremist elements. He said the matter had been taken up with the Canadian authorities through diplomatic channels and the government of Canada had reiterated they respected the sovereignty and territorial integrity of india and would not recognize the so called referendum however we find it deeply objectionable that politically motivated exercises by extremist elements are allowed to take place in a friendly country you all are aware of history of violence in this regard he further said Second story we have today is from the United Nations where the Israeli Prime Minister called on Thursday for a two-state solution to decades of Israeli-Palestinian conflict and reasserted that Israel would do whatever it takes to stop Iran from developing a nuclear bomb. His mention of a two-state solution, the first by an Israeli leader in years at the United Nations General Assembly, echoed US President Joe Biden's support in Israel in August for the long dormant proposal Labid said that an agreement with the Palestinians based on two states for two people is the right thing for Israelis security for Israel's economy and for the future of their children He said that any agreement would be conditioned on a peaceful Palestinian state that would not threaten Israel Lepid spoke less than 6 weeks before a November 1 election that could return to power the right wing former prime minister Benjamin Netanyahu a long standing opponent of the two state solution Third and last story we have today is from Iran where people are on roads over the death of Mahsa Amini in a recent move thousands demonstrated across Iran on Friday at government backed pro hijab counter rallies after a week of bloody protest over the death of a woman arrested for improperly wearing the headscarf Iran has been rocked by street violence since the death last week of Mahsa Amini a 22 year old kurd who had spent 3 days in a coma after being detained by the morality police the official death toll from the clashes remains at 17 including 5 security personnel but the new york based center for human rights in iran put the figure at 36 and said it expected it to rise so this was all from today's top stories program thanks for watching this video like share subscribe this channel for more videos goodbye